Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and try on the Swatch Big Bowl Jellyfish. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So inside this box is the Swatch Big Bowl Jellyfish, reference SO27E100. And this is from the 2019 Christmas collection. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by, of course, sliding off that sleeve, the big bold sleeve, and just giving you a quick look around this acrylic big bold box in which the Swatch Big Bold Jellyfish sits. So the jellyfish over here is a modern interpretation of the original one that was released in 1985. Now let's pop open the box by of course pressing down on this button and lifting the box lid over and now just giving you a close-up look at this 47 millimeter case size wristwatch. So it does have a quartz movement and is 30 meters water resistant or three bars and you can hear that second hand ticking away quite noticeably there which is rather typical of swatch quartz wristwatch So as you can see, the name of the jellyfish is quite representative of its design, rather clear, with some translucent details. So just giving you another look close up at the details of this wristwatch before I start handling it. Okay, so now let's pop that big bold jellyfish out and just setting it on the side for the moment. And let's continue to tip the rest of the contents out from this acrylic box or plastic box right here. And let's put it all back together very quickly, just setting that to the side right there. And of course this is the transport strap or pin buckle fastener that's come off or been removed but that's just fine and then just spreading out the rest of the contents there which are the papers so the swatch big bold jellyfish comes with a two-year warranty Okay, I don't think there's any real need to be looking at the papers because they're fairly comprehensive. So I'm just going to set that down to the side. Moving on, there is of course the guarantee certificate for the Swatch Big Bowl Jellyfish, reference SO27E100 from the 2019 Christmas collection. So it's very, very recently released. And of course, some more of the swatches papers. This is the warranty information. Okay, just going to set all that down to the side because, as I mentioned, it does take quite a bit of time and it is pretty fussy to go through because it does have many many panels and it is heavily folded okay so let's move on to the wristwatch itself a 47 millimeter case size wristwatch with an 11.75 
millimeter of thickness there on the main case itself of course and let's of course pop that plastic watch holder out just sliding it out i'm going to set that on the right hand side of the frame and now giving you a much clearer look at this big bold jellyfish from swatch so it does have a plastic case along with a translucent or semi-transparent silicone strap and quite interestingly this may look like a plastic pin buckle but it's actually made out of aluminium so very very nice detail there not something that many would have known or assumed so not plastic but in fact aluminium in construction of this pin buckle right there with the swatch branding on it so you can see it does have a satin or even rough polished finish or matte so very hard to kind of describe looking through the little lcd of mine but i would say it does have a kind of matte or satin like finish with that little rough texture on it as you can see the texture of that aluminium pin buckle right there so nice to see that contrast as well that silvery metal aluminium pin buckle against that translucent or semi-transparent silicone strap or band really cool to see right there giving you a nice clear look and of course just going right around the wristwatch so 47 millimeters in size of the case and just giving you that all around look right round and you can see those elongated pinholes as well and taking a look at the case back of the swatch big bold jellyfish so the original jellyfish was 34 millimeters in size case wise of course and this time around with the reimagination or the modern interpretation this one is 47 millimeters so it has taken a 13 millimeter size bump and of course it's been 34 years since the original release back in 1985 of the original swatch jellyfish with its 34 millimeter case so this one 47 and we're just on the last day of 2019 just giving you a much closer up look as you can see the hands yellow blue and red red for the hour yellow for the ticking seconds hand and of course blue for the minute hand and you can see those clear details right through and just sticking a couple of fingers around the case back you can see you can just about see my fingers there just moving about behind the movement or case of the watch so just giving you another look there further out of this 47 millimeter swatch big bold jellyfish so really nice details weight wise it is quite light in weight having silicone and plastic construction with that very lightweight aluminium pin buckle as well so just gonna rest it properly in the palm of my hand just to give you some sense of size as well so right there this fairly large watch but very light in weight for its size having a plastic silicone and aluminium 
construction. So giving you as much detail as possible at this of this swatch, big bowl of jellyfish. So thickness 11.75 millimeters. Or just under two centimeters in thickness. And you can see the typical big bold offset crown at about the two o'clock position. Right there. And of course there is a layer of protective film on the window of the watch, which I'll peel off in just a moment, but just giving you another look at the wristwatch right there. And okay, so let's go ahead and peel that sticker off if I can get my nails, fingernail right under there. And there we go, that's the protective film off, now giving you a much clearer view. You can see it's so much clearer now. Looking through the case of the watch and through the movement, of course, contained within it. And you can see my fingers, once again, behind the watch itself right there. Very cool. 47 millimeter case size watch and this time around once again resting in the palm of my hand giving you some sense of size and scale of course let's give you a much closer look the details and movement of this wristwatch so you can see that minute and hour track around the circumference of that clear dial. I'm going to show you the depth of the dial as well if I can at a rather acute angle. So showing you as much as I can of this really cool looking jellyfish from Swatch's Big Bold 2019 Christmas Collection. So it is a modern take of the original 1985 jellyfish. This time around 47 millimeters in size compared to the original 34 millimeters and this one being 34 years younger as well or newer okay now let's before i do that let's pop that crown out at the two o'clock position so you can see nice oh actually just going to giving you a look at the case back as well. And you can see, of course, quartz movement there and with the very famous swatch battery cover right there, which you can open with just a coin. And also you can always replace your batteries for free going into any swatch boutique or shop. They will replace your battery free of charge for your swatch quartz operated wristwatch. So right there, giving you a nice clear look at the case back. Actually, I can undo the strap, which I'll do in just a moment. 
but I'm just going to pop that crown out and let's just move the hands around at the very, very popular 1009 position. So you have a more symmetrical and clearer view. So you can see it doesn't have hacking seconds. But right there, giving you a look at the wristwatch. So it does pop out two steps. The second step, which is further out, gives you adjustment of the hands to set to a reference time. So first pop doesn't do anything, but I assume it gives some level of water ingress. But make sure you click it all the way down for that. Three bars of water resistance or 30 meters. And once again, giving you another look at this swatch big bowl jellyfish with its clear and translucent design with the Bauhaus like colors of red, yellow, and blue on the hour, minute, and seconds hand of this wristwatch. Okay, so now let's undo the strap, so just sliding the pin buckle and giving you a look once again at that aluminium pin buckle, which is pretty cool. So nice exotic material in combination with its silicone strap and plastic case. And plenty of adjustability there in terms of getting the right pin buckle placement for fitment on your wrist. And you can see that lovely semi-transparent or translucent strap. And right there. swatch big bowl jellyfish and trust me it's not easy holding it steady but I'll do my best so you have a nice clear view at this wristwatch And of course, we get a much better view on the case back of this wristwatch now with the strap opened. And of course, once again, the thickness and you can see the soft Silicone strap, very pliable, very soft. And I'm trying to give you a look at the thickness once again of this wristwatch. So let's get that autofocus to come in right there and right there, right there. And just rotating it all the way around so you have a nice clear view of this jellyfish. I'm going to move the hands back again, just so we have that very standardized and clear 
and nearly symmetrical but look at the dial and of course details on the face of the wristwatch and right there nice clear view of this swatch big bold jellyfish SO 27E100 just keeping it upright as well And of course, going to show you the softness and suppleness of the silicone straps. You can see just how soft they are. Very pliable. And once again, very, very light in weight. And now, finally, we get to try it on. So I do have a 6 and 3 quarter inch circumference wrist or 17.2 centimeters. Let's strap this swatch big bold jellyfish on with just one-handed right there and giving you some idea of the fitment and positioning of the pin buckle or pin position on my wrist it's right there plenty of adjustability and somewhere in the middle so right there perhaps maybe even one further in a little bit tight there so let's loosen it up back one more of course sliding that lovely soft silicone strap right through the two keepers and giving you that nice clear look at how it sits on my wrist so right there you can see the 11.75 millimeter thickness of the wristwatch along with its 47 millimeter size case so very very light in weight being made from plastic, aluminium, and silicone, very comfortable as well. So, weight wise, disproportionate to its size, so quite deceptive, but very, very comfortable with the use of lightweight and soft materials, and of course, that durability as well with the silicone and aluminium combination for the pin buckle and wristband or strap. So lovely, lovely watch, and just move that. So as you can see, sits pretty well on my six and three quarter inch circumference wrist, 17.2 centimeters. You can definitely hear that very typical quartz ticking movement of this swatch wristwatch the big bold jellyfish okay so right there giving you a look on the underside with that aluminium pin buckle on that translucent silicone strap and let's undo the strap give you one more look So that's the Swatch Big Bold Jellyfish. Thanks for watching and happy ticking.